everyone, welcome to Indecent Gaming. Today's a very special episode because we're covering the top five indie games of 2012. In at number five is Dyad. Now Dyad is part racing game, part music game. I actually played it at IndieCade and it's super relaxing. It reminded me a lot of Frequency on PlayStation 2. It's a beautiful title that is really fun for anybody to pick up, but it does get challenging. So if you're not new to video games, you're still gonna find a challenge in this game. It's available on the PSN for $14.99. And while that is not a ton of money, it is pretty short for the price. In at number four is Hotline. Miami. Hotline Miami is a top-down shooter. It's horribly graphic, easily the goriest game on the countdown. The concept is simple, but the routes that you can take to complete the missions are actually incredibly varied, so even the most seasoned shooter fans are gonna find a challenge in this game. It has a really unique art style that makes it really cool, and the soundtrack is absolutely thumping. So while you're blowing people away, there's still gonna be cool music banging in your ears. It's available on Steam right now for $9.99. In at number three is Fez. Phil Fish's masterpiece, which took like four years to complete, finally came out this year, and after so much hype, it didn't really live up to all it was supposed to be, but it was still a beautiful game, had a very neat concept, and is a ton of fun to play. The game is a puzzle platformer that follows Gomez, this cute little white guy who finds a fez who allows him to see his world in 3D. It's a very cool concept. It's executed beautifully. The style is fantastic. It's just not all we wanted it to be after four years. It's available right now on Xbox Live for 800 points. In at number two is Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja is a 2D side-scrolling action stealth game, which sounds like a mouthful, but it really just comes out as a ton of fun. It has a really unique art style that reminded me a lot of like 90s cartoons. The kill screens are really cool and you feel like such a badass when you grab a dude by the ankle and then you pull him down and then you stab him in the throat. Just me, a little psychotic? I don't know. It's still really, really fun. And actually, one of the coolest things about the game is it rewards all types of gameplay. So if you're all stealth, you get points for that. If you're all kill everybody, blood everywhere like I am, you get points for that too. It's available right now on Steam for $14.99 and on Xbox Live for 1,200 points. It's six to eight hours of gameplay, which is a huge bang for your buck. And in at number one best indie game of 2012, you've probably guessed it already, but we're gonna tell you about it anyway, is Journey. From the company that gave us Flow and Flower, which were both beautiful, Journey is such an experience. That's the best way to describe it. It's really exploratory. It's all about going through the game. One of the unique things about it is its sense of scale. You feel so small during this whole game, and even when other players come in, you don't get to know who they are. There's no talking in the whole game, and the only way to communicate with any of your other players is by singing, like this. Wah, wah. Hey, look over here, I found something cool. You can't say that, but that's what you wanna say. A game that has to be experienced, it's absolutely gorgeous, and there's a reason why it was the very first indie game that was up for Game of the Year at the VGAs, and it took home Best Indie Game at the VGAs. It's available right now on the PSN for $14.99, and I promise you, it's worth every single penny. So if you have a PlayStation 3, you are cheating yourself if you haven't played this game. That's it for the top five indie games of 2012. Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see everything we've ever done. I'm Meg Turney, and this isn't very indecent. Let's get some shirts off, guys.